please, for the love of Christ and everything holy, son, stay. Don't, no, no storms today. For the love of Christ, please. Um, I need to test like camera stuff, which is geeky YouTuber shit, I know, but um, I'd like to be able to get out of the damn house today for a little bit. So we'll talk about a, a box of goodies that I got. So there's a company um, that you've all heard of. You've probably heard of Rick Rack. I'm sure you've heard of Rick Rack. They're a, a, a big, big, big uh, bike parts seller, reseller, distributor, and they make a bunch of their own stuff too. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff from them. As a matter of fact, the CVO Custom Dynamics taillights that are in the wife's CVO Rogue Glide here, I Rick Rack put in uh, during Sturgis 19. I was there, they had them. I was excited and there you go. So they put that on, they did my Paul Yaffe license plate delete thing that's in the back of that bike, you know, a couple of things while I was there. Anyway, um, talked to them recently and they sent me a box of, of goodies to get me ready for the rally and a couple of things that, that uh, from my videos they just knew I would like. Um, I'll show you in a second, but they sent me their saddlebag gun holster. Very cool. They sent me a couple camera mounts. Oh, it's already on there. <laughs> I suck at this. Um, but I'm going to mess with that a little bit because I just like threw it on the, on the bar, uh, on the handlebar. And they sent me the magnet for the, 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 the gas cap. They sent me a couple little things. So I'm going to shut off here and then we'll go back through what they sent and what it included. There's a bunch of stuff in that box. So hang on. So much goodness. So first thing that was in the, the package of goodies was uh, a product they made forever that I think is really cool, uh, the gas cap keeper. It's just a, a little magnetic puck that's adhesive on one side. You stick it to your, your black plastic um, gas cap out of like your altar and that when you open the gas door, take off your gas cap, you can stick it to the tank, you can stick it, you know, whatever. I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, so that's really cool, rubber mounted magnet, so it doesn't scratch anything on your bike and you don't lose your cap and drop it on it. How many times have you done that? You're trying to refill up from the bike, reaching over, gas cap hits the ground, now you gotta get off the bike. <laughs> you know that one. So that's pretty slick, I like that product. I've seen that one before and like it. It's not very expensive, but I'll put links to all this stuff below. Um, this, they're sort of the OG of the don't let your saddlebags fall off your bike, that thing. The sure click. So they've made these forever. And when I and, and when they first said they were gonna send these, I'm like, oh man, I've got those nice revolver bolts that a buddy sent. But I might run these because the, just the, the quality of the machining and stuff. So what this is, let me let me back up a little bit. Some of you've been riding Harley dressers for a long time. Remember the old push pin click? You know, it was a it was a basically a pin with two teeth on it, and you just stuck it in through uh, uh, the bag into the receiver and you clicked it once and there you go that was your pin that held your saddlebag on well those were not so much good as they were bad <laughs> and they would wear out fall out and your bag would fall off your bike this stuff happened a lot um, as a matter of fact a good buddy of mine uh, from yeah uh, he had a CBO I still has it uh, he has a CBO what year is his uh, it's a CBO Road King bag fell off his bike and almost hit one of the brothers rolling down the highway. So that stuff happens for real if you have the old push clicks. And what these do is you replace uh, the receiver that's in there with their little receiver jobby niner. Uh, and then you've got you know rubber washers and there's a metal sort of captive washer on here. And when these go in, the metal washer here has little divots in it and the actual thumb screw has divots in it and when they come in contact they start clicking as you go around so what that does is locks your bags on they ain't coming off so those are really cool and i you know i am going to run those i'm going to go ahead and switch out my revolver ones the revolver ones that were gifts are very cool looking and they're very sharp on the back side and there's a rubber grommet there and that's how they secure what they intend to do with those really cool you know uh, for looks you know revolver bolts is that um that you don't take your bags on and off very often. You guys know me, I'm screwing my bike all the time. And what has happened, what happened was, as you tighten those revolver bolts, the sharp edges in the back that hold them still, is just eating the rubber grommet. I mean, like there's not much of it left. Thankfully, I still have a set of rubber grommets over there. It's just eating those up. But I'm gonna use those. Three out of four of them I'm gonna use because one of them, I mean, my holster they sent me. So Rick Rack makes their own gun holster. I mean, makes their own. It's actually stamps as Rick Rack on it. 
Uh, they're not a dealer of these parts. They're the manufacturer, designer, I'd imagine patent holder, I don't know. So they actually make the sure clicks. That's their product. They make the gas cap keeper and they make this gun holster. This is medium size, they have other sizes. Um, essentially what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take out one of your, your uh, either your, your sure clicks or your whatever you're using, your factory thumb bolt, whatever. Um, you stick that on over the hole and then you have uh, a nice big washer and an Allen bolt and it's gonna bolt in there uh, nice and snug with a lock washer on the Allen bolt. So it's, it's this is not quick release because you don't want a, a gun holster to be quick release. I mean, technically, I guess, I'm not gonna say it because they'd be like, what are you saying? Technically, you could probably use your thumb. <laughs> but, so this is the right size. I've already checked it. it. This is perfect for my Glock 43 and my Taurus G3C. Both fit in here perfectly. Um, the only thing you might have an issue with is, I bet a 1911 would fit in there too. 19, but anyway, so this is medium size and it fits most things. So if you carry a Desert Eagle, maybe you need a large. <laughs> but I'm gonna put that on the bike. Uh, as you guys know, I do not carry a firearm on my person while underway. Why? Because if you have an accident or something like that, the pistol is now unpoliced and it's off in a ditch and things can go bad. That's my opinion. You can have a different one. You can just be wrong. Anyway, the last thing, and I'm really freaking excited about this, uh, is their camera mount. Now, I'm not even, this is all sitting right here, but this kit, I mean, like, look, look this. <laughs> this is what was in the, I mean, look at all the stuff. Because this is like anything you want to do with your camera, you can do it. As a matter of fact, this technically, you, you could use, you know, you could get two cameras out of this kit. I'll put a link. This is a kit of, this is a sort of a, a, a several of their products put together into one package. This guy is my favorite so far. This is the clamp. So I'm just gonna clamp that on my handlebars, uh, like, like so, and then whoop, and then you got a, a 360 ball joint up here that you can flip it around a bunch of different ways and angles and stuff. That's what I'm gonna use during Sturgis, is this is gonna be up on my handlebar, and that way when we stop, I can just quickly pop that off and throw it in the tour pack, lock it up, take it off. This actually unscrews quickly, so I could take the camera off and leave it on there. That's probably, that'll be cool actually because this just spins off. So I can just carry the camera around with this still attached to it, spin it on when I get back to the bike. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, because I'm always worried about, I don't wanna fuss with stuff when I'm there. You know what I mean? Like there's stuff to, there's stuff to do and see and, and have a good time at. So you don't, wanna, you don't want it to be a chore. An activity trap, as they say in the business world. You don't want that. And this is going to, look at how adjustable it is. So you can loosen this, which makes the ball joint loose and then spin it around. I mean like, it's just, you can do anything with it. It's, it's any angle. They also included, this is their fork mount. So this replaces one of your uh, fender bolts. So that drives into your fender bolt, nice and sturdy. And then you have the threaded, the threaded stud to put, stud, um, to put the, the camera mount on. You got that. Here's another adapter that can make, just make your angles crazy. So if you wanted to stick that onto there, and then have another ball joint. I mean, like, if you're trying to look for a really weird angle or something like that, you could do that with that. Um, it's really cool. And again, there were two of these in there, those big ball joints. So you could do, out of this package, you could do the alligator clamp kind of thing and a fork mount, or also it included the hardware to mount to your fairing. So what you do is you take one of your, your windshield screws out and use these to do that. I mean, there's just a ton of this stuff in this kit you could do a million things with it but yeah if you're looking for a way to mount a camera to your bike i mean this is gonna have it there's no question two swivel bases 360 mounts fork mount clamp mount oh they even include a little wrench you can crank stuff on there so it doesn't fall off i mean it's 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 got it all so let's do this i'm gonna put the gun holster on i'm gonna put on the sure clicks um and let's mount up the camera and if the sky stays clear i can imagine this I might get to go for a ride today, which will be the last time before the bike goes in the rig for Sturgis, I bet, because today's Thursday, the 22nd, tomorrow's the 23rd, which is the live stream with De Beard. 24th, the bikes have to go in the rig and get secured down, and I roll on the 30th, because I'll be working like a damn dog every day between then and there. So, yeah, let's get cracking. So, I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm, I'm using these, uh, Quick, what are they called again? What's the name of the product names they use for? Sure clicks. All right, sorry. So, and they weigh, I like them because they're heavy. 
So the first one's already on. I use the sure click with the holster and it's fine. But all you do is this rubber washer goes over there. I, and see what I mean by the last ones are really cool, but they're just eating up that grommet. And I think I've got some more here somewhere, but you know, why change out if I don't have to? So you're just gonna thread that in. Hear it? It's starting to catch. And as you tighten it, see? It's not gonna back off, you know, when it clicks on like that. So if you've got the old style pins, you, you're gonna want these. No question. So yeah, so now that's on there and the holster's on there nice. I ain't checked it already. My cooler even still fits in the bag. So what do they call this on the people who do videos? It's gorilla work. So yeah, see the holster still fits just fine. Holsters in here, sure clicks are on. Gotta do the other side. But that's cool. So if you got the old, certainly if you got the old push and twists, you need those. Um, I would highly recommend that. The camera. That's going to be something as simple as, as you spin this uh, T here, do, do, do. That is just going to go on whichever way you want, probably like that. And I'm just going to see, I can even one hand it. Oh, I'm tightening it like an idiot. So, woo, woo. stop, stop, behave. There you go. So almost on, almost on, almost got it. There you go. So now she's on. Actually, what I'll do is I'll flip it around that way so the T's on this side. Someone out there was going, what are you doing, boy? Just like my, just like my grandfather would have said. And then you just uh, crank her down like so. And then you got all this stuff. I mean, like, look at that. Like, you can twist and turn it. And if you even left it just right on a snug, if you're using one camera this way and suddenly want to look at yourself, I, I don't do that. Just grab the camera and go whoop and she'll spin around so i mean that's i mean it's secure but you can still spin it around if you want to so it's just a million things you can do with it see how that tightens down there that's cool i like that um cop power cord will still reach the outlet and all that stuff so let's for the god forbid uh throw on the boots and we'll hit the road for a bit and test this sucker out all right we are uh we're rolling. I assume the microphone's working. I got no damn clue. So what you're seeing right now is what will be the Sturgis view, I believe, unless I get home and decide it was crap. Gonna go do some middle-aged man shit, which means go to Walgreens and pick up prescriptions. <laughs> That's what you do when you're an adult. Go to the damn doctor monthly and try and not die. I was just that guy. So there you have it. I, uh, I don't know if the mic's working. It looks like the little meter thing or jobber niner is jumping around. So far, loving the freaking showy helmet though. This thing's comfy, you know? I have my sunshade down, pull up to a light, I can flip up the thing and get a little air. The one thing I, I have a problem with, see I just flipped up the outer shield. The one thing I do have a problem with that uh, is frankly gonna suck is that when I'm doing, you know, recordings with the mic, come on truck. When I'm doing recordings uh, with the mic, let me put that down. Um, I can't flip up the, the the chin bar because my mic just kind of, like you can tell by the shit sound quality. I think it's hitting red too. I gotta figure that out. Um, I think that uh, yeah. So hello, Popo. How you doing? Um, don't come at me now. Uh, when I, if I flip up the chin bar, the mic's going to fall out because the mic's just kind of resting inside there. So I, I don't know. I suck at this. As you guys say, I am, as you guys know, I am not a moto vlogger. Uh, my rides are for me. This is a pain in my ass, but I love you all to death. So <laughs> also you gotta, uh, fight back the trolls, man. I get sometimes the messages. He doesn't even ride those bikes, dude. You don't even know. <laughs> 
So let me go to Walgreens and do some manly biker shit like pick up blood pressure medicine. And I'm gonna go for a little bit of ride. I'm gonna ditch the camera. I love you, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ditch the camera and go for a ride, enjoy myself for a little bit. And then when I get back home, we'll uh, check in. But this camera mount, the verdict's badass. I'm using the claw clamp thing on the handlebar and this then the 360 swivel so I'm using about a third of what they sent me but you know you can do a whole hell of a lot more of this stuff but yeah I think I found my setup I think this is what I'm gonna do for Sturgis when we do the ride videos I'm just rambling sorry when I do the ride videos you know we run uh, um, you know we run needles in Iron Mountain I'm not gonna run a mic I don't think we'll probably like me and the missus will stop and say hi on camera and stuff but then i'm just going to mount the camera and roll uh and i'll upload those separately that's my plan i'm going to do ride videos separate from stir just walking around having a good time laughing telling jokes and doing funny shit because um, to me i don't like ride videos some people do so i'm going to do them separate so every day you might see two videos uploaded and that's the day's rides which won't have any talking no nope. i don't think i'll put music or nothing they're just going to be you know riding and then the other video will be uh, us having a good time. And let's just call it shenanigans, shall we? So that's it. We'll check back in when I get back to the house. After I get a little, some miles in. I'm all tangly and not for good way, good reasons. It's 9,000 degrees, man. Uh, bike said 95, but I think it was missing a zero. Good Lord. Um, so the verdict, I'm back. I went on a, on a ride that I hadn't planned. I just kind of ran up by old Lake Okeechobee and got lost, which was the best rides. And then you just hit the whole bleep bloop, take me home. And it took me back interesting ways on Connor Highway. Connor Highway, not a good road to ride a motorcycle in because it just does that. And the Wilbers was doing the job, but the front end is still stock. And it was, anyway. But the verdict, um, the Rick Rack mount stuff is really cool. I mean, this clamp is going to be really useful. Uh, it comes off and goes into tour pack real quick. I did that when I stopped at the drugstore. That was cool. The gun holster is held on nice with the Rick Rack uh, mounting hardware there, which again, their name for this stuff, and I'll put a link, is called the Sure Clicks. I'm going to run those. I'm going to take out the revolver things. I'm going to put in the Sure Clicks, so that's cool. Revolver, the camera mounts. I appreciate it, Rick Rack. This is cool. Some cool stuff. Um, they have a tent at rally at X55. If you're going to stir this, I'm sure I'll stop by and say hi to the dudes. Um, that's about it for today, man. Tomorrow's live stream from the brewery. So the wife informed me that we were definitely not riding the bikes. We we're going to take the cage because, I mean, I'm meeting De Beard at a brewery. Let me say that again. Meeting De Beard at a brewery. So, so you know, riding wouldn't be smart. <laughs> it just wouldn't be a smart thing to do with a 90 mile ride home. So uh, anyway, so tomorrow 6.30 live, if you're gonna watch us on YouTube on either the Baggers and Bruce channel or mine. Uh, and then uh, if you're going, be there at six. So LaBelle Brewing Company, LaBelle, I'll put that link to six o'clock Friday. Be there, be square or be online or whatever. But we'll talk real soon. Be good, bye.